Smash drunk. Oh shit, here we go. Right off the bat, just like the first uh, path. Straight into Venom. Hey, and welcome back to Snest Trunk Plays Star Fox. And we gotta slow way down and let these things kind of get out of our way. This level is pretty hard. And uh, yeah, you gotta fly underneath this. I hope you don't get smashed like I just did. You can go for that. Shield, I think I will. Got it. The only reason I did that is because, oh, I actually made it somewhat far without getting smashed. I usually get smashed to shit right there. So now, yeah, they're bringing back some similar mechanics to the uh, the first path, but with extra stuff. Like, there's going to be even more of these uh, pillars here, ones that are already in the ground, in addition to the ones flying in front of you. That makes it kind of tricky. And of course you've got people that need your help and stuff like that. So, I took a look, um, I also forgot to mention, I, I took a look at the instruction book. Um, and I, I, f I found some interesting things I want to point out um, that I'll talk about if, uh, when, or if I finish this game. Um, oh, and here, here you gotta, yeah, make sure you shoot it while it's, uh, in a certain direction, otherwise it will fly right in your face, like right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm gonna fly into this one. Oh, I got lucky. Get that one. So far, so good. All right. Except for Slippy, you can get fucked. All right, now I think if you fly through these arches, I think that's a. it just leads to a bomb, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there it is. That is my only bomb since I used all of my bombs on the boss of the last level, which I think is necessary because maybe I'm just not that good at this path, but... Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> maybe I'm just not that good at this path, but... Um... <coughs> Shit. Yeah, see, here's more pop-up issues. The game just pretty much just saying, like... You know what? We're not even going to fight it. We're just going to have pop shit just, like, show up directly in front of you, materializing from nothing. Oh, God. There goes my... There goes my shield. There goes my life. Jesus. Let these things unfold and turn towards you. And... Free life. I think I'm towards the boss. I think I'm there. Yes, I am. It is the same guy, the commander guy, whatever his name is. Great commander, I think, is his name. And this time, he's not fucking around. He's not even going to wait around. He's going to morph into this thing. He has a couple different forms. This is form number one. And all you got to do is just pound away at that opening that opens and closes and it's depending on where his life is at his life bar is at he will um, shoot those with those are iron balls flying at you it's not too dissimilar or it's not the what am I trying to say it's uh, not that different from the uh, there we go got him not that different from the, the boss on that toxic planet in um, uh, Star Fox 64. It's that ship. It's on the water. Um, same sort of deal there. Uh, here and now, you just have to avoid the spastic thing flailing its arms like a child <laughs> and shoot the ship flying around it. And really not that hard at all have to admit it's a little bit of a disappointment of a, of a Venom boss, but uh, the, I think the Andros coming up here has a, has a bit of a surprise here that really kind of takes you off guard, makes it a bit, kicks it up a notch. All right, here we go. Your choice of routes took me by surprise. But he talks about his father. I, in fact, his father doesn't get mentioned 
nearly often enough as he does in, uh, oh shit. Oh god, no. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh god. Anyway, <laughs> these are always a freaking disaster for me. I can't do these that well. Anyway, yeah, Star Fox's father is mentioned, like, a few times, usually by Andros. It's not, like, freaking peppy, like, your father helped me like that, too. Whoops. Your father helped me like that, too. Every ten seconds. And we start out with a normal Andros. And you do the exact same thing. Although, the, the uh, I like to call them big pieces of plywood. Or, uh, sheetrock, I guess. Sheetrock would fit the texture better. Flying at you, uh, come at you a little bit faster. Especially the ones around his eyes. So it's important to get one of the eyes out of there. There you go. Very, very quickly, because... Then you only have to worry about the, the two over there. God, I have, like one-fourth of my life bar, so hopefully I can pull this off. Come on, die! Die! You're the last freaking thing I have to beat. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this time instead of just, uh, yeah, use your bomb here if you have any. Instead of, uh, Oh, I guess he, they are purple triangles. And he, when his face comes back together, it morphs to this weird dog, cow, devil skull, which is really freaking cool. Oh, now I'm able to roll, I see. This is so bad, it's just, I remember the first time I saw this, I was like, this is the most badass thing I've ever seen. Now this is a final boss, in appearance, if anything else. There we go. Now the roll is cooperating. Come on. Die, you son of a bitch. Get out of the way. Jesus. See, yeah, he doesn't do the sucking thing here. He just stays in the... Uh, ooh, look out. I think I was able to deflect that plasma ball there. I got him. I got him. That's it. And there we have it. <laughs> zoom in and yeah there we go that's it that is the final final boss of the final the third hardest difficulty level of Star Fox really the levels and uh, well in my opinion obviously since I had so much trouble with it levels like Macbeth and Fortuna I think are much tougher I think Venom has its, uh, you know, its difficulty, its its hard parts, but overall, I think uh, the earlier levels in the game are a bit tougher. But whatever. And there is, uh, I'll spoil it for you right now. There is barely anything different about the ending, unless I missed something. Unless maybe I just forgot to do something. Maybe if you get like the right percentages or whatever. It unlocks something else. But otherwise, it is the exact same thing with the camera swinging around and them talking to each other. What I want to say right here, though, is... Okay, let's take a look at my percentages. No, I've got 100, I've got 80. It's, uh, 75, just terrible. 90, not bad. 87, whatever. And hey, 100% on stage 6. That's pretty rare for me. And 85 on stage 7. I went to the instruction book to find out about these percentages. And here's what it says. I'm reading from it verbatim right now. What's my average, first of all? Is it like 80-something? 80 88? That's fine. Okay, score. Your score will depend on how many enemies you destroy in a stage. After each stage, you'll see your current score. You can also check your score on the map screen. You will give, you'll be given a scoring summary at the end of your mission. If you miss an enemy and it goes past you, don't give up. One of the wingmen following you might be able to vaporize it. 
it is to your advantage to make sure your wingmen survive because they will often shoot some enemies that you might miss. You will receive some points for the enemies your wingmen shoot down. Now that is all news to me. So apparently the percentage has nothing to do with the health of you or your ships. It has everything to do with how many enemies you take down. So there you go. That's according, I'm reading straight from the instruction book. I think that's interesting. So, uh, I guess, you know, it does say to your advantage if your wingmen survive, but blah, 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 blah. But yeah, it has. What I'd like to know, though, is the. I'm still mystified by my 83% on the first path. It's still. It's gonna. It's gonna be stuck in my craw for a long time. Here's a stupid bird boss, by the way. What's his name? Monarch Dodora? Is that like a take off the dodo? God. I got stuck on that boss for a long time when I was a kid. Anyway, yeah, the, the 83 where I... You know, there's, there's not that many enemies on Venom to take out. It's all obstacles. It's all stuff. And then there's the boss, and then there's Andros. It's like, what am I... What did I miss, you know? It's... Oh, well. I'll have to play it again and see. Now that I know, for a f you know, according to the instruction book, that's what it is. That's what you're supposed to do. I'll have to try it again. This time, you know, utilizing bombs to make sure everything goes kablooey and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, yeah, we've got the usual rundown of bosses here. This is, I believe, the Great Commander... Pain in the ass boss is what he is. God. And here's the Great Commander of the sequel. Still called the Great Commander, but... Yeah, I think it's the toxic planet on Star Fox 64. They, they kind of lifted the idea of that boss. Kind of interesting to see it work that way. They completely reinvented him, really. Andros, uh, forgot what I was going to say. Um, anyway, more stuff from the instruction book since I have it in front of me. There, <laughs> I thought this was amusing since, you know, I've made my hatred of Slippy very, very well known. It's got little write-ups for each... Uh, instruction book has little write-ups for each guy, and I was curious what it says about Slippy. But just for some context, I'll read what each character, what each character's little bio is. Fox McCloud. Fox is the young leader of Star Fox team, always at the forefront of the team's attack. He is an aggressive fighter who often must rely on a skill to get his team out of trouble. Your skill will determine if his name goes down in space history as, <laughs> as a champion of the people or a space rogue scoundrel. I just love how that's phrased. Um, then we have Falco Lombardi. Why is, why is the last name Lombardi? Give him a, the Ital he's an Italian falcon? Is this some, some kind of inside joke? As a member of the, an avian race, Falco Lombardi is at home in the skies or in space, where his piloting skill exceeds even that of Fox McCloud. While his short temper may lead to arguments with Fox, the two remain fast friends and loyal allies when it comes to combat. Next, we have Peppy Hare. Peppy is the moderating force on the Star Fox team. His gentle character and wealth of knowledge make him an invaluable balance and balance is misspelled here as a typo it's spelled b-a-l-e-n-c-e -E, up to the chaotic chemistry of the other star fox team members his skill as a pilot is an added plus <laughs> it's like his skill as a pilot is an added plus like oh and plus he can fly the ship like well, good for him so yeah peppy is the veteran fox and falco are both very talented and then slippy slippy toad while Slippy may seem to be timid and passive at times, he always keeps a positive mindset about things. The scrapes he gets himself in may add some comic relief to the dangerous situations you find yourself in during your mission. And that's it. So basically, yeah, this guy's really talented and he's fighting for his space and his, his, his uh, part in history. You got the savvy veteran, you got this other really talented guy. And then you got this fucking clown who just gets in the way, and we all point and laugh at him. What the hell is that? That's pathetic. 
now I feel stupid for just for saving him. I should have just let him freaking crash and burn. Like he's utterly useless according to this. He's useless from like a logistical and a functional standpoint. I mean, and they make no bones about it. Come on. Anyway, more stuff out of the instruction book since the credits are still rolling here. Um, it, they are officially called plasma balls. Um, and the other kind of plasma things are called oval beams. The official name of the plasma Cheerio is the ring laser. All sorts of re weird stuff in here. And it also has a boss breakdown here. And uh, yeah, that's Star Fox. I still have one episode left. There's a couple more things I want to show off. There's one little tiny th bonus here I want to edit to right now when you beat the hard stage. That's right. If you let it sit here for long enough, you get a neat little jingle. That's if you beat the hard path. So we finished the game, but we're not done yet with this Let's Play. So uh, once again, I want to thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.